Before we compare C3 and Zig, it's worth remembering why so many languages keep trying to patch the holes C leaves behind. C3 has been around for a while, and for good reason. It's incredibly performant, and gives you a lot of control over the small details, and lets you build up powerful systems with an amazing amount of flexibility. However, that flexibility comes at a price. Anyone who has worked on medium or large scale projects in C knows the difficult parts. Header files that break easily, manual memory management with zero built-in safety rails by default, build systems cobbled together by hand, air handling scattered across return codes and global flags, undefined behavior lurking in the corners, foot guns around type conversions, and a lack of modern tooling. Some developers are fine with this because they grew up with it. In fact, some may even say it's a feature. For these devs, the issues with C are a skill issue. It's the developer's responsibility, not the language, to patch any issues and use discipline. New languages in attempting to defy this paradigm muddy the waters and bloat the software. For these folks, neither C3 nor Zig will convince them. But then there is the rest of you. Subscribe and watch the full video at the link below.